Well, the telly to me is like another arm, I guess, sort of, because I've been playing one so damn long, and it's just, you know, part of the deal. It's dumb as I am, even Telecaster can make it easier for stuff to come to, come to be. <laughs> I've found my way to the Telecaster, and that's home. It, it has more power, it, it sparkles, it twangs. And if you play it through a silver face Princeton, this particular guitar, I see palm trees and pretty California sunsets and Capitol Records in the right kind of reverb. It, it, it's a fantasy. It, it's just, it just blows up and makes everything all right to me. This, uh, these, all these parts put together has changed the world. Music would never be the same without it. Even the Beatles played Telecasters, you know? <laughs> Everybody's. You know, some of the great jazz players, you wouldn't know it, but they play tellies as well. I think pretty much everyone uses the telly, whether they're playing it as their main guitar on tour or whatever. I mean, it's, it's pretty much a guitar you have to have in your arsenal. But Lord knows, I mean, how can you not genuflect and respect to this thing? Well, you can take this thing on the road, you can play a country gig, you can play a metal gig, you can play anything on it, and, you, you know, it's just beautiful. You can do anything you want. And plus, if you're stuck out in the middle of a lake, you can paddle home with it. Now. You know, the Telecaster right out of the box is about, to my way of thinking, the most versatile guitar. I mean, it jangles, it twangs, it crunches, it rocks. You can play jazz on it. The main thing about it for me is that I can get from a Tele the sweet, uh, you know, really clean fat. I can crank the treble down on, on my Vibrolex and turn up the bass. and. You know, I can get the really clean sound even out of my back pickup with still a little bit of bite. The, uh, the tone, the, the neck, the way it feels, the way uh, it's just got a good feel to it. You know, being arguably one of the first electric guitars on the market, I can't say that I think that they've improved vastly beyond the originals, so I'm sticking with it. Everything about the telly is cool to me, the way it looks, the way it sounds, uh, the three different options you have on the switch are very wide. You can go from deep bass, bluesy sounds to piercing treble sounds and everything in between and, and it's very responsive uh, to like your pick technique and all that stuff. Every little thing you do seems to just come right out on it. Uh, well the great thing about the Telecaster is that Leo Fender, uh, whether by design or by accident, uh, found the perfect combination. Uh, for uh, full uh, dynamic tone. You know, it had the least amount of moving parts and it was really simple, you know, two pickups, three-way switch, volume tone, and not a lot of tremolo, you know, you could bend against other notes and do double stops, country stuff like that, and it just, um, you know, to me, stayed in tune better and was just a more solid instrument. And I've always really liked the shape. It's kind of, it's kind of uh, fascinating, it's kind of traditional and kind of revolutionary at the same time, a little French curve and the cutaway, but Really, it's just a guitar shape and that dips in and that's missing, you know. The peg head is the most fascinating understated design ever. It's a real example of less is more. It's like a sleek, perfect American design. I don't know that it ever, it, it was never bettered. For hundreds of years now, people are gonna look back at the Fender, the Fender logo, the Fender guitar, and for all the people that ran it, you know, long after Leo's gone, long after all that stuff is over, everything's, in, in centuries from now, you were going to look back at this thing and say, oh yeah, I know what that means. It's amazing. It's amazing how this thing has insinuated itself into uh, the social consciousness. Mm -hmm.